Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I'm going to discuss best practices for writing SQL queries. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that, so that you can get all my future video updates. Now I'm going to discuss the best practices for writing SQL queries. There are many ways to write a SQL query to get the same result, but not all the SQL queries are optimal easily read. You also need to take care of the performance of the SQL query. So the, we'll start with the first point. So first point is we should always write SQL keywords in capital letters. This is the very basic one. We should always use uh, uppercase for SQL keywords and lowercase for your tables and columns. Use uppercase for even SQL functions. Now you can see that we should avoid the first query and we should always prefer the second query where you can see the uh, all the keywords uh, keywords are in the uppercase now i'm going to discuss the second point use table alias and columns columns alias consistently throughout the query you can see the query uh, avoid query and the prefer query you can use alias for both columns and tables you can give short and meaningful name to both the tables and columns. Alias are particularly useful when the same columns are present in multiple tables as it helps to avoid ambiguities error. Now I'm going to discuss the third point. Avoid using select star instead of we should use column names in the select clause. You can see this query, avoid query and the prefer query. If table contains lot of columns and millions of data, select star will surely slow down the query performance. We should always query the necessary number of columns as shown in the prefer query. Now I'm going to discuss the fourth point. Prefer using exists exist operator instead of in operator. When you need to verify the existence of a value in a table, you can see the avoid query and the prefer query. When you, when you use exist clause, the benefit is that it stops as soon as it finds the, the required value in the table. On the other hand, inquiry scans all, all the data even after finding the necessary value. Now, fifth point. Create CTE instead of multiple subqueries. It will make your query more readable and understandable. You can see how CTE I have written over here and we have uh, uh, we have created three CTE part you can see for readability uh, and we have avoided multiple subqueries. CTE improves the readab readability of your query so you can prefer a CTE is defined once and it can be ref uh, referred uh, whenever it is needed. Now I'm going to discuss the sixth point use union all instead of union if you are aware that there are no duplicates in a table. So you can see the avoid query and the prefer query. This is union is preferred because sorry union is slower than union all because union does two extra operation that is uh, removing the duplicates and sorting things. That's why union all is preferred if there are no duplicates in the table. Now seventh point. Write useful comments as it explains what you are trying to achieve. Avoid writing too many comments. You can see I have given the comments which explains what that part is that part of the SQL code is doing. So it also explains various parts of the SQL code. Now I am going to discuss the eighth point. Now use top or limit clause to reduce the search result. If there are thousands of columns and millions of record and you just need to uh, see what the data looks like in your table then you can use top or limit clause now ninth point use join and on keyword so sometimes you know uh, people prefer uh, avoiding uh, join keyword they simply write the two table name and and they will use the join con condition and the where clause as shown in the above query but we should avoid that we should always prefer using the key, join keyword because it is more readable and you can specify the join type if you have other than inner join like left join right join full join 
now the last one is avoid functions on the columns so you know uh, you should always avoid using function in the where clause so uh, the function needs to be called for every record in the result set which can slow down your performance and the other other thing is that if if there are uh, if there is a function surrounding the column you are trying to filter then indexes on that column cannot be used that's why you can avoid it you in the, you can see the uh, the first query i have used dead diff function on the column called modified date but i can rewrite the same column uh, same query using you can see where modified date is less than get date so that's all for this uh, uh, for this video if you really liked what what the 10 practices i have written please give thumbs up or if you know any other best practices for writing sql queries please do write in the comment section thank you